Let's do it. Let's get into it, folks. Lots going on in DFW real estate right now. I tell you what, there's a lot going on in United States of America real estate right now. All sorts of crazy headlines. Lots of questions about interest rates. Man, am I sick of talking about interest rates. Lots to talk about. You can call or text your questions right now. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Or anytime, day or night, feel free to Google Todd Tremonti or visit us online at toddtremontiteam.com. We are genuinely here to answer your questions. Obviously, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team would love an opportunity to earn your trust. And if we are not the right fit for you, help some help you find somebody who is. If we are the right fit for you, we're still guaranteeing to sell homes over the average price and under the average time and guaranteeing even in this market that we can save you $5,000 or more throughout the purchase process. So uh, look, talk to whoever you need to talk to. Just make sure you talk to us as well. ToddTremontiTeam.com. Now we're taking your questions. Call or text 214-310-0008. We've got a question that I think will kick off the show uh, quite nicely here in just one second. But before that, let me tell you about Patrick Gleros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Whether you're looking to get a mortgage, refinance, refinance, wow, can't speak today, refinance, maybe you're looking to get a second property, go to patrickgleros.com. You can start an application right there on his website. You can give him a call at 972 728 3420, NMLS number 308804. That's patrickgleros.com. G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. All right, we're going to talk a little bit more about Patrick later because he spent two days this week with us as we spent time with real estate leaders from all over the country here in our office. We'll talk a little bit about that when we get going. But before that, Courtney, we won't say who, but someone asked you a question this week, and we need to talk about it. Yeah, like we won't say who, but I was working out with them this morning and mm. they... <laughs> Let's call them Jim Bob. We won't say who, but this is precisely where and when I interacted with them. Go ahead. And they are a realtor. A realtor? Are they a realtor or a real letter? A real letter. Okay. And no, real based on the context, this might be a three-syllable situation. A realtor. Okay. And he said to me this morning that he is like, the need for agents will be obsolete in the next five to 10 years because of technology and the recent verdict against the NAR and and just like basically our generation, when our parents' generation dies and we quit having that advice of like, this is how we did it. This is um, the way it is. And I just was like shocked by that. And I really wanted to hear what you thought about that. I guess I didn't think, do you think the public is really looking at this in our NAR verdict? No. I don't either, but it seems Not yet. important. No, it's important and it will impact things. And we can break that down in a minute. But most people don't care about the nuance of that. We can talk about what we think it'll do for buyers and sellers. Most importantly, well, I don't even know how to rank what's most important. I got so many things. So your question is, do I have thoughts on that? Absolutely, freaking lutely I have thoughts on a so-called real estate professional suggesting, not even really asking the question, stating yeah. that his or her- It felt like a fact. Like existence in the professional sense will no longer be there in five years and that there's nothing they can do about it. Sounds like those scared. Now, let me be clear, not wrong. Let me be clear. Um, I don't, I don't know the future. I don't think I know the future, but I've been doing this for a long time, 20 plus years. And here's the thing. People have been saying that thing since before I got a real estate license in 2003 and started flipping houses in 2001 and got a broker's license in 2005 and bought a franchise and got out of a franchise and started a team and rebuilt the team and built the model we have today and started coaching agents all across North America. People have been saying hey, real estate agents aren't going to be needed in five years. The internet was going to be the first, you know, you can just buy it on the internet. It's going to be eBay. Why would you need an agent? That didn't turn out to be true. Then it was like uh, some of the internal technologies, like the MLS was going to just go public and national, which it basically has with big internet portals. Uh, that didn't alleviate the need for an agent. And I could keep going. Now, let me be clear. This is not about me as a broker agent wanting 
what I'm saying to be true. This is about history. And then it will get into what I believe will come in the future. I don't know who the person is that said this or anything like that, but here's what I know is that if you don't change the way that you approach business, it doesn't matter the industry that you're in, you, you are going to go away. You will be gone because things evolve and things change. And if you're just happy to sit doing the same thing that you've always done, yes, you're going to be blown by. Like people are going to outpace you. They're going to do things differently and they're going to do things better. And like you have to adapt to what's going on. And like, Th- that's those, just are reality. The, those are the people that shouldn't be in the business right now is honestly how I feel about it. Like if your opinion is, well, I'll be, re- I'll just be completely replaced by technology and innovation and, and legal systems in the next five years, then go ahead, leave now. We're seeing a lot of people leave the industry that came in two years ago because it's got harder and it's got more difficult to be successful in real estate because it's not the same market that it was. And people are going, Ooh, this is now a little, it's a little bit tough now. I'm going to go ahead and leave. Meanwhile, we have more opportunity than ever. We're trying to add three to five people to our team in the next 90 days. And we have more training tools, resources, community connection, of course, leads and technology and all those things. than then a new agent in real estate could ever dream of. We think it's a great time to get into the business because this is a time that demands the skill sets that are significantly less likely to be disrupted by technology, so-called innovation, things like that. Now, I think you said, maybe he mentioned it or it made you think, Courtney, about like the fact that you don't really need a real estate agent to open doors anymore. Was that what he said or that was just kind of you thinking? No, yeah. He mentioned that you you would just be able to walk in a house like you wouldn't need an agent to show it to like you. Like that's that's the holographic Star Trek of the future that he's envisioning? Because <clears throat> that's been around for a long time. So my point is this. I have many points. One point is this. This person represents much of what is wrong actually with our industry. And I don't know them personally. And if I did, I would I would tell them this. Like you're not a horrible person, but you're probably a pretty bad agent. And I've told people that before and they don't like to hear that. But here's the thing. If a real estate agent or a broker or whatever you want to call that person's role, if they believe that they're most valuable because they can get you into a door that you could not get into on your own, or even because they know where all the houses are for sale and you don't have access to that information, that is not where an agent's value should be. And that person is right. You don't really need an agent for that anymore. Now, there are some homes that you cannot access without a license, but you can do that at a very, 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 very low cost. Now, basically between Realtor.com, Zillow, and Courtney's Squeaky Chair, you could see almost every house. I said almost. There are some limitations. You know, some of these big national portal sites data isn't great. But the fact is, things that a generation ago agents were saying I have the MLS book and you don't, you literally don't know where the houses are without me, or I have the keys and you don't, you can't get in without me. Even then, when that was way more true, even then, those are not the reasons people get real estate licenses. Those are not the ways that a real estate agent can truly add value to your life. That is not how one agent can dramatically, statistically, and experientially outperform nearly every other agent in the market. I am biased. Let me say it up front. But I have witnessed over my 20-something years in this business agents that are significantly better than other agents. They all have the same license. They can all open the doors. They all know which houses are for sale. Some of them are able to lead and guide and advocate and negotiate and market and advertise and strategically sell while all the time managing an exceptional experience, answering questions before they're asked, avoiding major liabilities, uh, taking advantage of massive cost savings, significantly higher sales prices and less time, lower purchase prices with less drama and more seller negotiations. And I could go on and on and on and on. But at the end of the day, not all agents are equal. I believe, you know, they're all created with, you know, uh, equal value in the eyes of God. That does not mean they have equal value to the consumer, to their buyer, to their seller, to their borrower, to their renter, to their client. Golly, someone that truly believes that should quit and go now and take everybody else with them that feels that way. There is more laziness in our industry today than I can remember. I've been doing this eight, you know, almost eight years now, and there's more laziness today 
that's happened because of the last two years than I can remember. And it's driving me crazy. And it's why people feel like it's fair to say, I don't need a realtor to do this stuff. Like I can do some of these things by myself because like there's people out there that are just like going, well, yeah, I mean, all I'm going to do is open a door for you. Would, would, you, oh, blame, me nuts. would you blame someone that tells you, I'm not going to use an agent. Last time I used one, all they did was open the door and send no, me a list of houses. No, because that's that's what people have like, that's what our industry has trained people to think that's what we do. And that because that's what they've been doing. Now, here's the problem. The brokers believe that, some of them, and they're teaching agents, if they're teaching them anything, to believe that. And then agents just copy agents and mimic what they believe to be the norm. Now, I want to comment on a couple other things you said. There's all these big national media headlines about court cases involving the National Association of Realtors. Now, you do need to understand really fast, normally you wouldn't care, the National Association of Realtors is a trade association. The word realtor literally is only used for a member of that association. So you can go get a license from the Texas uh, Real Estate Commission or some other state. This big case that's been in the news lately was in Missouri and not be a member of this association. Now, most big MLSs are actually sort of intertwined where to join your local and state association, you have to join the national association and to get access to the MLS, you sort of have to do that. Some of these court cases are about the have tos about all commissions should be negotiable. They are not set by law and the consumer needs to know what they're paying and who they're paying. And some of these court cases are about, was that clear enough? Was that communicated well enough? And some of these big wins may not end up being big wins after appeals and things, because you have this very common anti realtor sentiment. Anytime someone's going to court, you got a jury of people that are like, yeah, stick it to those freaking guys for overcharging and under delivering. So we'll see what happens in the appeals. But basically what these court cases are about, at least the couple that are really rowdy right now, are consumers saying, I didn't know who was getting paid what. Now that's pretty hard to argue in court if you signed a nine or 10 page contract that spells that out, promulgated, meaning created by a ton of attorneys intended to protect the consumer. So we're gonna see how all this stuff shakes out. Now, is there some unusual price fixing in the real estate market? I think there's not much of that, but there is this kind of group think, and we need to determine what the difference is between deliberately fixing prices to harm a consumer and stupid people. All due respect, I don't know who this person is, but people who think like that, that's just ignorant. That's weak, that's lame, that's not good enough for the consumer. So yeah, the fact that we have a bunch of people running around like knuckleheads with real estate licenses, just charging what everybody else charges, even though everyone does different, we should, we should eradicate that out of our industry. It should be more like the legal industry which people complain about that all the time too. But if you go to an attorney that's been doing it for 20 years with an amazing track record of achieving the result you want, you know you're gonna pay that attorney more than some goober who just limped out of a lesser impressive law school who's like, I'm just doing you know like templated contracts because that's all I'm capable of. You're not gonna pay that person the same amount as the other one. And that should be true with real estate agents. You're gonna pay more if you get better results and pay less if you get less results. But this idea that like, you know, the whole industry is out to take advantage of the consumer. I just don't see that. I've been around it 20 something years. I think there are some lazy people that aren't great at their jobs, but I don't see this big coordinated effort to like fix prices and trick consumers. We certainly would never participate in that. And we obviously don't believe in that. We believe people should charge a fair price based on the value they can deliver to their client. We tell agents you should be able to over deliver on what you charge. But that does not mean charge less or charge the same as everybody else. That means your, your consumers should be really happy with the value you received and what they paid for it, just like any other business. But to me, that's the root of the problem of an agent or a broker who feels that way. They don't know enough to communicate better value. They don't offer enough value to be passionate about communicating it. They're out there doing the same thing as everybody else, charging the same thing as everybody else, and hoping the computers and the robots don't replace them. Oh my gosh. DP gave me a call this week, DP Lambert. 
over at Goosehead Insurance. And the message was a little different this time around. I knew this topic was coming and I'm still fired up. <laughs> DP is awesome. Right. So DP <laughs> gave me a call and for years I've told you like DP has saved me thousands. DP saved me hundreds. And the call was a little different this time. DP said to me, hey man, I just want you to know like we actually couldn't like reduce your rate this time around. We've gone ahead and renewed it for you. We're going to stay with the same company. We've renewed it. We're going to do a shorter term. We're not going to do a year. We're going to do yep. six months for you. Um, and the reason that we're doing that is just because prices in insurance have skyrocketed, yep. just like it has in so many other places, like with interest rates and things. Same has happened with uh, with insurance. And so he did what was best. He made sure that we still got the best available rate. He stayed with the same company this time around. We stayed doing a bundle and he did it at a lower term. Now, the reality is that that means that there's lots and lots of people out there, thousands of people out there still overpaying because they've just stuck with the same company and they haven't yep. had somebody look it up for them and double check that. And, and DP he, will do that, DP and his team. And he told me the same exact thing. And then he actually came back and saved us on one of, you know, we shopped the whole bundle. One of the policies, he's like, I was actually surprised we were able to save you a good chunk of money. So the fact is, it's not always about saving money. Sometimes it's making sure you have the right coverage and just knowing you have the best available rate. And that's what he did, which is, it's all you can ask for. DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, DP.Lambert at goosehead.com. I go to ToddTremonyTeam.com, click the radio tab and find all our recommended pros and vendors. That's right, ToddTremonyTeam.com. You can look at every house available for sale publicly by every agent, every brokerage, and all of DFW. You can also find out your home buyer readiness score. You can find out your home seller readiness score. If you're out of state, you can find out if it, Texas is a fit for you. You can double check what your home is currently worth. You could request a cash offer. You can track your home's equity and so much more all online at ToddTremontyTeam.com. ToddTremontyTeam.com. If you forget all of that, just Google Todd Tremonti, contact us however you like. We would be absolutely thrilled to offer value to make your life better whether you're buying or selling or not, of course, we would love to earn your business if you're buying or selling and you're a fit for us, especially if you have a home on land or want to buy a home on land, or if you live in or want to live in the most desirable neighborhoods in DFW. That's what we do all day, every day, but we'd be happy to help you with anything that we can help you with at all. Now, if you don't know the current condition of your roof and you own a home, I just believe you're making a silly mistake. And I use the word silly on purpose because if you go to pmrroofing.com, pmrroofing.com, uh, you can connect to them, connect with them through the site, or you can call them on any phone number on the website, uh, 469-409-ROOF. Um, then you can have them come check your roof and they will tell you in the most honest, ethical, direct way possible. If you need work, if you don't need work, you can sleep like a baby knowing that the roof, which covers all of the people and belongings inside your house is in rock solid shape. If you, if they find something, they will do the right thing at a fair price, look you in the eye, shake your hand and take great care of you. And that would, that should feel really, really good too. If you don't know, you should be concerned. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying we're in the time of the year where we get heavy rain and wind and we're not too far out from, you know, sleet, hail, snow, ice, those kinds of things. Don't wait until then to find out you have something that could have been very simply fixed. And of course, if you do get heavy wind or rain or you need a new roof or you need major insurance claim, you want a trusted roofer on your side to make sure you get everything that you uh, deserve. So pmrroofing.com, just put a beautiful new roof on, on my new home uh, and have done tons of work for our team and clients for years and years, pmrroofing.com. Okay, so we've talked a lot about kind of the agent mindset, the um, the way that the consumers may be thinking. We've talked a lot about, you know, technology. I actually think technology is a positive, right? It's positive mm -hmm. for us as agents. It allows us to do more things for our clients in a quicker manner. It allows for our clients to be able to search more things, do more things. I actually think that in the next five to 10 years, as technology continues to evolve <laughs> and improve, this could be better for us and this could be better for the client. Look, agents that are brutally committed in a positive way, like just all in committed to delivering more and more value to clients. Look for every tool, every resource, every educational opportunity to add value. So when things like artificial intelligence and these automated online algorithms, uh, saved searches and things come along, they're not feeling threatened. They're feeling resourced. Wow, 
how can I learn to best use that for my client? How can I lead and guide them through how to use this in a way that is accurate and helpful as opposed to how can I just, you know, let my influence and input go and just have people, you know, dangerously playing on the internet, hoping it all works out. Let's play devil's advocate on that though. Okay. It can also breed even more laziness because an agent can simply say, Hey, you want to know what your home is worth? Go here. And I'm not going to do anything with it and follow yeah. up with you. You want to look for some homes? Sure. Go and do a safe search and we'll just go and see those ones. And I'm not going to do any work for you whatsoever. Right. It, it's, it's really, this is why full-time matters right? To be a full-time, fully dedicated, world-class real estate agent, not working completely by yourself is a big deal. That's like an actual grown-up career. Instead of, I got my real estate license because nothing else was working out or because it looked like easy money or because I didn't know what else to do. Those are all terrible reasons to get into a career. Sadly, a lot of agents don't think of this as a career. They think of it as a side gig or something until the next thing comes along or while the market's hot. Those are all garbage reasons to get into real estate. We have tremendous opportunity to lead, guide, advocate, and impact families, individuals, couples, you know, people's wealth building, their, their security, their safety, their, their family values, their traditions, all of these things. You should be in this business because you want to be exceptional at that. If that sounds attractive to you, we're looking for three or four, maybe three to five new team members in the next 90 days. I would love for you to text right now, 214 310 Zero, 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 0008. If you think being on a team like ours where you can grow personally, you can grow professionally, you can grow your income and your impact. If that sounds exciting to you and real estate is of interest to you in any way, you don't have to be obsessed with houses, but if you love people and, and fighting to protect them and serve them, uh, to, to help them make big decisions in a way that's advantageous for their futures, then uh, give us a call or shoot us a text, 214-310-0008. If you like our style and you have a friend or a family member that you think should get a real estate license and join us, we're only looking for three to five, but we want to get that done in the next 90 days. 214-310-0008. They can go check us out online at toddtremonteteam.com. They can go to the YouTube channel by just going to toddtremonteteam.com and clicking the videos tab, or just go to YouTube and search my name, Todd Tremonti, and get a feel for who we are and how we operate and what we value and who we can help most. By all means, we can help all kinds of people. We absolutely specialize in homes on one to five acres, as well as homes in the most desirable neighborhoods all across Dallas-Fort Worth. We want to help our team members live incredible lives with great income and great impact and balance. And then our team members with us now get to help hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clients and thousands of people every year live better lives in better homes and build wealth and have more joy. We love what we do. If that's attractive to you, go to toddtremonteteam.com or call or text 214-310-0008 and you might be a great add to our team. That's 214-310-0008. Eight. I know what you want. I do. What you really, really want. I do know. Now that's tell me what you want, right? I know what you want. You want a dream property. Now we're not. We don't throw around the term dream home a whole lot because it's kind of an annoying, obnoxious term. But I don't know. I'm sure I could find someone. I don't know many people who don't have at least parts of a picture in their brain of what their dream property would be. Maybe there's a lake involved. Maybe there's some land involved. Maybe there's some mountains involved. Maybe there's a giant closet, a giant moat. kitchen. Could be a moat if you're into that sort of thing. Media room. Maybe it's just really clean. Maybe it's in a certain neighborhood, certain school district, but I just don't know very many people who don't dream a little bit about their ideal home. Home matters. Home's a big stinking deal. Whether you're buying or selling or redesigning or nesting or, you know, spring cleaning, you know, whatever it is, decorating, home matters. The environment matters. It, it, it helps or hurts most of the most important things in our lives. So think for a second about what your absolute dream scenario is. And then we're going to talk a little bit 
about kind of what mine is and what many, 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 many of our clients and listeners and viewers and readers and all those things uh, share in regard to one specific type. You don't, you don't have to like what I like, but it turns out more and more and more, one of my favorite property types is more and more and more people's favorite property types. As a matter of fact, right now, of the type of property that I dream about, there's over 3,000 in one of the lowest inventory markets we've seen. Not as low as it has been, but one of, uh, just within 50 miles of downtown Dallas. Um, about 8,000 of them have sold in one of the slower selling markets we've seen ever in Dallas in the last 12 months. And that is homes on land. Now, what does that mean? We normally mean one to five acres. The, the, the numbers we just pulled were homes on one to five acres. Um, we're talking big giant backyard, but not quite farm and ranch, you know, so we can get into that a little bit more, but, uh, if you've got a question that you need help on, send it to us right now, no matter what it's about 214-310-0008. You can text or call 214-310-0008. Uh, we've had some homes on land questions piling up. We're going to answer a bunch of those here in a minute. If you're looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to maybe get information on what things like a buy down rate is, if you're looking to get any sort of information on what's going on in the world of mortgages, reach out to Patrick Glaros and his team at Cardinal Financial. PatrickGlaros.com is where you can go. You can start an application right there on his website. You can reach out to him via the website. You can call him at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. And if you forget any of the information we give you, any of the vendors that we talk about, simply go to ToddTremoneyTeam.com, click the radio tab, and you will find everybody we talk about and more right there. Right there, ToddTremoneyTeam.com. All right, we got some questions related to the land and such. Yeah, so let's talk about, first of all, like how does owning a home on land, how does it have the ability and possibility to, you know, I say this, not in the uh, like biblical transform my life, but transform my life by being on uh, well, being it, on land. it absolutely does. Now the truth is, lots of different property types have the ability to do that. This is one that tends to be pretty aspirational, uh, and I'll get into some of the specifics in a second. But let me just say this: a lot of people, and research shows this, that a new home is one of the quote freshest starts end quote that you can have, right? You know, it's like the first day of school every year. is kind of a fresh start. Maybe you got some new clothes, new backpack. It's a fresh start. Make friends, you know, that kind of thing. Going to college, fresh start. You know, getting your first job, fresh start. New job, fresh start. A home, man, this is a big deal. Now, when you talk about a home on land, really it's more than a home now. Now, look, all home is on some land, right? It, even a condo ultimately sits on some land. But you could have a little bitty lot, but we're talking about that one to five acre lot category of homes on land. The difference there is there's so much more focus on outside than the vast majority of other real estate types, right? So, you know, you rent an apartment, you buy a condo, you buy a townhome, or you buy a traditional home, at least in Dallas, Fort Worth, the traditional home is probably on a fifth of an acre or a quarter of an acre. You know, is if you have any more than that, you have what a lot of people start to think of as a bigger lot. We're talking about really big lot, one to five acres. So how does that transform your life? Well, it offers you a lot more opportunities. You know, a, a phrase or a, or a thought that became very popular and common around the Tatramani home selling team started um, very, very soon after the initial kind of public awareness around COVID-19 or the coronavirus or the Rona, as we called it at the time. Um, we started finding people that once it was, you know, there was freedom to move about a little bit, really wanted to move for the following reasons. Uh, they were less comfortable going to the gym, going to the neighborhood pool, going and having a storage unit, going to the park. They were either less comfortable or they weren't able, or there were restrictions, or they were more conscious than ever of all the costs. So we, we saw more and more people that wanted to have all of those things at home. Now, this is not just the COVID factor. This is people that have realized now, you know, I, I can have all that at home. I can consolidate my investing and have all those resources at home. So it could transform your life in that you have more control 
over, you know, where you work out, where you store your things, where you play, where you swim, where you exercise, where, where you go for a walk, where you get fresh air, you know, where you live, where you cook, all of these things, where you have more of those options with one to five acres than you would with a quarter of an acre, right? Uh, you know, a basketball court, a tennis court, a, a you know, cornhole area, a horseshoe pit, a greenhouse, a garden, a pond. Um, maybe you've got, you know, a uh, bomb shelter of some kind, underground shelter. You know, maybe you've got, uh, you're growing some crops, raising some animals. Uh, maybe you just want more privacy from your neighbors. Maybe you want to work <coughs> at home, but not in your house. You want to shop out back. You want a second dwelling, a second workspace, a second entrance. You want to store a camper. Um, you know, there's a ton of ways that having a home on land can really change the way you live as a whole. Personal example, really quickly. Uh, we tore down our old house, moved out into another house, built a new house and moved back. The entire time we were in this, what we call the pit stop house, we just, our family wasn't really ourselves. Now we had a, we had a great time. It was a wonderful experience, but we are backyard outside people. And the first day we were in the new house, I actually got a little bit annoyed with my girls because they weren't helping unpack boxes, but I looked up, they were out running around the backyard, playing with sticks, doing what they always did. And I thought immediately, oh, it's so good to be back. We haven't even been our, our, our whole selves for the last year because we are outside, build the fort, run around, have a fire, you know, throw the ball kind of people. So it can transform your life in those ways and many more. RepublicTitle.com, uh, I had another issue with a title company about a week ago where we had sent some documentation to them. They apparently didn't look at the documentation and decided to close on the property without doing everything that they needed to actually get done on our end of things. So we then look like dummies and we have to go to our clients and say, hey, can you do this for me? And the title company's response was... Sorry. No, not even I didn't that. get that. Just silence. No, I just got, no, it's too late to do those things. <coughs> and I was like, what, I mean, what is the point? Why yeah. even do those things? Yeah. Republic Title, I just don't have those issues. We were hanging out with them a little bit this week. They were over by the office. They came by, make sure everything was good, make sure we're all happy, clients are happy. We just get feedback time after time after time. Like everything went so smoothly. Uh, Angela, uh, everybody over there. Christina, just doing everything they can to make our clients so incredibly happy. RepublicTitle.com is where you can go and find out all your information on Republic Title. RepublicTitle.com, 972-423-8777, RepublicTitle.com. Yep, it matters. All right, folks, if you have questions about buying a home on land, selling a home on land, enjoying a home on land, or homes in the most desirable neighborhoods all over DFW, give us a call, 214-310-0008, or you can text that same number anytime, 214-310-0008. Or you can Google us. Just Google my name. Spell it as best you can, Todd Tremonti. Google Todd Tremonti and check out over 700 five-star reviews. So one of the questions that we get asked is, um, hey, if I'm going to be looking for a home on land, if I'm going to be looking for one of those one to five-acre homes, where do I go? Like, Do I just go to a regular website? Do I go to a DallasHomeRealty.com? Do I go to our favorites Zillow or places like that? And do I just search the same yeah. ways I would search other places or is there somewhere special and unique to go? Yeah. Well, so you can go wherever you do other things. I would say the big national portals, and I'm not only going to pick on Zillow, I would say any of the big national portals, even including realtor.com are not going to be your most localized, accurate source of data. They're, they're okay tools. I'm not, you know, angry at them necessarily, but they're not the best. Well, and I'll add one thing that we do see fairly often that we'll have a client reach out to us about a property they saw on one of the big national websites. We go to check it out and it hadn't been updated nationally and it's been sold sometimes for months. Yeah, or it was never for sale. It was a rental or something crazy like that. So you do want a local real estate source, right? Now that could be a local agent, a local brokerage, Ideally, it's the person that you are working with on a day-to-day -day basis to help you buy, sell, or whatever. And you, by the way, you should have a real estate agent that even if you're not buying or selling, they are your agent. It's like saying, that's my attorney or that's my dentist. I'm not going to the dentist today, but if I had any dental issues, that's my person. You should have that in real estate because real estate's a big stinking deal. So all that to say, 
when it comes to finding a home on land, find that local, accurate, regularly updated source of information. And yes, set some search criteria. Locally, we have done that at DallasHomeRealty.com. You can go to ToddTremontiTeam.com. It'll take you to the same place. And you can save a search. We have made sure that the criteria on our website allows you to search by lot size, acreage size, as well as cross-referencing that against school district or zip code or city or price point or square footage. Some sites are less inclined to do the lot size thing and a lot less inclined to do the lot size thing while allowing you to cross-reference those other search criteria. So if you're hearing this in Dallas, Fort Worth, or you're watching a video and you're seeing this, go to dallashomerealty.com, toddtremonteteam.com, or you can go to my Fort Worth MLS.com. Easiest thing to do is just Google my name, Todd Tremonti, click on the site that you find there, and you will be able to search as well as save a search and then let our database automatically, or you one might say automagically, update you on a daily or weekly or even monthly basis of only the homes that meet your specific criteria. We, we can automatically send that to you daily, weekly, or monthly, just depending on kind of the, the level of pace of your search. If you're just scouting, you might just do weekly or monthly. If you're ready to go, you should do daily. We can also help you update that and adjust that along the way as you start zeroing in on a certain area or a certain property type or price point. Um, so we can help you with all of that. But yes, that is a good place to start, but it is not enough. The other thing you need to do is to have a local full-time, fully dedicated real estate professional with a great track record who's out there looking for off-market deals for you. I'm biased, but I would say you should use our team because nobody looks at more homes on land than our team, including off-market or soon to come to market deals. We have a whole private portfolio of people with homes on land that might come to market or will come to market next month, next quarter, next year. But we are able to communicate about those properties with people that we're communicating with one-on-one, -on -one, but we cannot do that publicly. And there are plenty of other ways. There's some broad national sites even, like there's one called Lands of America or Lands of Texas, where you can find properties across many, many, many markets. Again, national portal, not quite the most accurate, but it basically allows you to see the whole state or the whole country as opposed to just one local market. So it's not like we think our site's the only one, but if you're looking for a home on land in Dallas-Fort Worth, it's the best one. Go to toddtremonteteam.com, start a search, save that search, and then communicate with our team about how we can help you narrow that down to find exactly what you're looking for. All right, I got one more question on Homes Online, but I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to tell me what it is that you're reading right now. What's one of the big things that you're reading right now? What's a takeaway that you're getting from it? Okay, last week I talked about a book that I'm reading, I'm rereading, and I'm still reading it. So a quick t hat tip to who, not how, because I love that book, and I am um, still reading it. Now, I had one recommended to me this week, and I've just barely scratched the surface so I don't have huge takeaways, but it's called Mansfield's Book of Manly Men. And it's basically about raising healthy young men. And so um, I lead a, we kind of made our own camp out thing for our boys to teach them biblical manhood. But this is just another great resource to look at other people's opinion of how to appropriately rear, as my mother would say, um, um, educate, guide, lead, love, encourage, serve young men as they become men uh, in life. So Mansfield's book of manly men came highly recommended. I've just barely scratched the surface, but I'm very excited about that. As a guy who has a son, I also have two daughters, so I look at you know girls stuff too, and also does you know coaches sports and looks to lead the next generation of what I hope will be godly men who serve others and uh, sacrifice, give themselves up for the benefit of others and the glory of God. So anyway, pretty pretty pumped about that one. Awesome. All right. So we talked a little bit earlier about how land can kind of transform your life, some like the really positive things that can come from it. What are some of the things people need to know? What are they getting themselves into when they get land? Because there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I went and visited so-and-so and I... I spent some time on maybe like a vacation. We rented a VRBO thing. We had a couple of acres. It was awesome for those week or two that we were in it. 
what are some of the things that people need to know about actually owning it? It can seem dreamy, but is this something that people really, really, really want to actually own? Yeah, I want. I'm going to answer your question real quick with a couple of hot takes, and then I want I want Courtney, uh, full prize Courtney, classy Courtney, court if you will, um, to tell us what she was saying when we were off the air at the break, just about like how distant yet dreamy this can feel. But before that, the the number one thing I hear from people that are like, man, I'd love to live on some land, but I don't want to mow it. That's the number one thing I hear. It's like, it sounds great to have it. I don't want to maintain it. I don't want to mow it and deal with fences and edging and all that junk. Let me just say this. Look, I have personally found that mowing my big lot is like one of the most peaceful times of my week. Put in an audio book, put in some music, get on the mower and just go straight lines back and forth. Like there's something. Even there. when it's 110. When it's 110, I don't do it. I get up early, put on my holy jeans, holy because there's holes in them, uh, and I do that early. Now, here's the other thing. I'm not judging anyone that this is not true for, but if you have the resources to own a home on one to five acres, I would make every effort to build in letting somebody else mow and or edge it for you. Now, I mowed mine for years, and I had someone else. I paid someone to edge it and do the annoyingly difficult things that took up a ton of the time. Um that is not an insurmountable task. There are services out there that maintain acreage, property, homes on land and do that differently than your <laughs> typical mower. But that's the one thing I hear most. There are others and I'll mention them in a second. But uh, full price, Courtney, tell folks what you were saying or tell me what you were saying and I'll try to help unpack sort of how sometimes distant or dreamy a home on land can feel. Yeah, like when you visit your friends who have some acreage, I mean... It feels like, wow, I would love to have this. What an opportunity. I can't believe they get to live here. And it just seems unfathomable that like that could be a choice for me, I guess. Can you tell me, doesn't matter, one, two, three, four, whatever, like what what part of that seems unfathomable? Is it price? Is it figuring out the right one? Is it having to maintain it? Is it finding it? Like what are the things that seem... Yeah, it's interesting wow. that it... I think the whole process feels overwhelming. Like what does it, it feels like a pipe dream to understand how to maintain it mm -hmm. and have maybe the bandwidth to do that, the vision yeah. to do that. And then um, where to find the right property and mm -hmm. where would be a good fit for me. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, also just financially. So literally this is what we do for people all day, every day at the Tatramani Home Selling Team. We have an office in Fort Worth. We have an office in Richardson. And the, there are a few things because we do have a team of, of multiple agents and different agents have different skill sets and gifts and passions and values. Um, but the two big things we do are help people buy and sell homes on one to five acres, homes on land, right? To, to solve the riddle that you just expressed. And then the other one is helping people buy and sell homes in the most desirable neighborhoods in North Texas. But specific to what you're talking about, the vast majority of what you just said gets handled in one 90-minute sit-down. Mm. That sounds so crazy. But in one, what we call free strategy session mm -hmm. or initial consultation, uh, no obligation, no cost, no nothing, but it's best done in person. It can be done by Zoom. It's best done in person when someone just says, okay, here's, we've been dreaming about this forever. Are we crazy? Is this realistic? Do we have the budget? Can we do, get this where we would want to live how much work is this going to be? Literally, almost all, if not all, of that can be addressed in one free strategy session. I just don't think that people understand. I'm, we talk about it all the time. I feel like we really try to hammer this home. But just the value that we offer as real estate agents and what we can help you like navigate in your life. When I think about just personally, just it seems like something I'm supposed to know. Yeah. And I like, I just hired a financial advisor and like these coaches and these people, these experts in your life can really help you achieve your the, dreams. The smartest, most successful people in the world hire experts. You know, like the joke with forever was like, why does Tiger Hood have Tiger Woods have a, a swing coach? Mm. Cause he wants to be even better. 
He doesn't want to give it up. Now, that example has been tougher lately. You know, why did Michael Jordan have coaches? These are the best people in the world, and they still want to get better, don't want to lose their ability, want to learn, want to take advantage of every new opportunity that's out there. And that's who we want to be in the world of real estate. That sounds... And they're not hiring mediocre. They're not hiring cheap. Right. They're hiring who's the best person to help me. Yeah. Who's the person with the most qualifications to help me. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt about it. And that's what a real estate agent should be for you, which is why I got so fired up in the first half of the show. And the truth is I knew exactly what question was coming. We had prepped the show this week and I still got all uh, every week. We yeah, you're right. Week. Lots, of show, prep, lots week. of show prep. Um, I still got like angry. I mean, I, I'm not going to joke around. I mean, I got like super ticked. Because that is the more common mindset of like, oh, man, one piece of technology and all these real uh, tours are going to be gone, right? I'm not going to pay commission anymore because I can do it all on the Ebays. Like, good luck with that mentality. Now, I'm not saying people aren't right that most agents are bad at their job and don't offer enough value. But that, I would think that's true for attorneys and, you know, general practitioners and all these things in other industries. I'm not a, prof- I'm not a pro in those other places, but, you know. You want exceptional and exceptional can help you achieve a dream like that to bring it back full circle. The agents on our team are exceptional. We need three to five more. If you want to join us, send us a text 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a home on one to five acres ish, also call or text 214-310-0008. We'll set you up with a face-to-face in our Fort Worth office or a Richardson office, or if we need to, we'll jump on the Zoom and we will answer your questions, cast vision, help you understand the availability, what's out there, what does it cost, what's possible, what's the timeline, what's the issue that you need to learn about, who are the professionals we need to bring in to help you check on things or answer things or make sure you're fully ready. And psh, you could be in one, you know, by Valentine's Day. You could be one in one by New Year's if you're really ready. But the reality is, if this is an aspiration or a dream of yours, let's make it happen. Find us online, ToddTremontiTeam.com. Find out what your home would sell for right now in under a minute at ToddTremontiTeam.com.